Hey, Dolly. Um, everybody's looking for you. Uh, you want to come out and we'll get a fender on you today? Every other comment I get, where's Dolly? Where's Dolly? Where's Dolly? She's right here. Back where it all started. This is where it tore the Buick down. In fact, the parts are still laying right there. So let's get her inside and get a fender on her. All right. Welcome back to swapping a 48 Plymouth onto a 2004 Buick LeSabre. I don't know what part this is anymore. In this video, you will be able to see this entire fender get finished. So what I've done is I've chopped off the back because the fender, the, the Buick sits too far back. So I chopped it off. I'm going to match this gap. I welded that piece on right there. And then I'll set this to match it so that wheel is centered in that wheel well. So I'll weld. I saved the pieces I cut off back here and I'll weld them to fit. So I had a couple people ask questions about how I'm removing fender because they thought I welded it on. So this is for anybody that thought it might have been welded on when I did this right here. This doesn't go to the car itself. It goes to the original tab I cut off the fender of the Buick and bolted back on. So this is only welded to this tab right here, which is bolted on. So as soon as I take these bolts out, this whole bracket comes loose. My other bracket is right there. That bolt goes back to another bolt back there on the original frame horn of the Buick. I will also be putting a bracket from here. I'll bend this guy down down to right here and the same thing will happen right there so the everything will still be removable nothing's actually welded to the car except for the actual body for the structure of the unibody so let's go ahead and fill in this right here so what you need is some cardboard make your somewhat what you need find you i believe this is a 1940 chevy hood pop that guy right on to here and let's cut him out okay now that i got that welded solid that was actually broke right there so i had to splice it right there and that guy is right there I but because i extended this back i have this weird cut i made here so i found a piece of rebar that is the same color like i just cut it down i want to put him right up there to right back there i'm going to weld that in there and you won't be able to tell that that's not factory all right there we are wheel is centered in the wheel well now we just had to adjust the wheel wells but that's what she looks like now i gotta trim a little bit off that bottom right there grind grind a lot and then make some mounts but that's where we're at right now but it looks a little bit better with that front piece on there still looks a little long but i'm okay with it it's just a little run around beater car so i still got a finish this up here that's where this one's gonna end but thanks for tuning in you guys i appreciate it